हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल वर्ल्ड ऑफ एडब्ल्यूएस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड सो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद कंप्लीट केट लाइफ सी आई सी डी पाइपलाइन ट्यूटोरियल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाई डू पाइपलाइन फेल लाइक व्हाट काइंड ऑफ इशू कैन बी देयर हाउ वी कैन ट्रबल शूट इट हाउ वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड लाइक वाई आवर पाइपलाइन इज गेटिंग फेल्ड ओके हाउ वी कैन चेक द लॉग्स ऑफ दैट स्पेसिफिक पाइपलाइन एंड हाउ वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड लाइक what is going wrong there okay so i have make a note of some key point that you need to remember whenever you are working with the gitlab pipeline okay so let me walk you through this theory first then we'll go ahead and see it practically okay so cli program indicate if their execution was successful or not by returning an exit code okay so an exit code 0 will be in 0 will indicate that a program has been executed successfully okay any other exit code which can be from 1 to 2 55 indicate failure okay if gitlab defects a non zero no, sorry detects a non zero exit code the job execution will stop okay so highly important tip so reading the job log from the top to bottom is the key to understand why a job has been fail okay so let's go cli program first this part we are going to see okay so here we have the pipeline let me go to this pipeline and let me click on edit click on bay id okay so let me open this so suppose if we are uh mentioning any wrong uh, like command here in the script section our pipeline will not get executed successfully okay so let's try it out with the some random command here okay so let's see our test stage will not get successfully executed okay and what uh, execution output we are getting we are also going to see that so let's go to the build go to the pipelines and our pipeline is running as you can see click on this pipeline id and build get successfully executed as we have not make any changes in build it's valid job okay so test build get so test is still running okay let me open this so <clears throat> so as you can see our pipeline job failed exit code is 127 okay so and here in log as we can see bin uh, bin and ss eval line 1161 gff not found okay so whatever we have mentioned here that gff command is not a valid command that's why our pipeline is getting failed okay and the exit code we are getting that is 127 okay so if your script whatever script you have mentioned that is not like um, valid or you have some misconfiguration and you have written some a wrong command then your exit code will be 127 so you need to make sure that whenever you are like writing any script your script is valid and it's working properly okay so by reading the logs we can understand like where the issue is okay so if we see here on 20 line uh, 27 line so win was eval line 161 gff not found right so so it's getting uh, like a stop at this stage only okay so before that it was running successfully okay but it get stopped here because our uh, script get failed so whatever script we have mentioned so this script till this script our job was running fine and when it comes to here our pipeline get failed okay as you can see make dia mkdir test cd test ls touch 
test.txt and when it comes to here it get failed and exit code is 127 so according to the um, exit code and according to the logs you can understand why your pipeline is getting failed okay so that is the one key point so and whenever like an exit code 0 will indicate a program has been executed successfully so let's go and make a change here give the do ls that is a valid command and commit this change and go to the pipeline again and see our pipeline is running and what exit code it giving okay so click on this so our pipeline is running let's go to the build stage so as you can see here job succeeded let's wait for a few more seconds to see the exact output here let me refresh so we can see it quickly so it's still running so wait for some more time okay and let's go back here our to check our test stays what happening here it's taking too much time job succeeded so as you can see whatever command we have mentioned first one is eco hello world okay and uh, then after that mkdir test and cd test ls touch test.txt cat uh, test.txt ls and test.txt like when it's coming to here it's showing the test.txt right and cleaning up the cleaning up the project directory and file best variable okay so job get succeeded and our job our job is giving our job is not giving any uh, like um, exit code here because our job is successful it means zero okay so whenever our job give zero exit status code okay it means our job is valid and you can see job is succeeded okay so it means our pipeline is getting passed and why it's not running so let's go here and you can see the test stage is also getting succeeded and it's getting successfully executed okay as we have not make any error in our pipeline okay so let's go back to the document so any other than exit code which can be from 1 to 225 indicate failure okay so let's go and make some random changes here okay so suppose if i remove if i give some extra spaces here okay and let me commit this change and see how our pipeline is behaving so let's see our pipeline is still running here and it's still running here okay build got successfully executed as we have given some one extra space here so as you can see our build got successfully executed let's go back and see the test stage it will also get successfully executed okay so may giving some extra space here that is not causing to fail our pipeline okay so suppose if i give some extra space here then our pipeline will get failed okay so let's commit this change and go to the pipeline again and as you can see our pipeline is get uh, our pipeline got failed 
इट्स सेइंग यामल इनवैलिड एज वी हैव गिवन द एक्स्ट्रा स्पेस हियर ओके सो यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट यू योर पाइपलाइन डज नॉट हैव एनी एक्स्ट्रा स्पेस और एनी लाइक इनवैलिड कमांड सो दैट योर पाइपलाइन विल गेट फेल ओके एंड यू कैन सी क्लिक ऑन दिस कमिट आई सॉरी पाइपलाइन आई and you can see dot gitlab did not find expected key while parsing a block mapping at line 1 column 1 okay so line 1 column 1 so here it's showing here but it's not giving the exact path where this pipeline is getting fed okay so but it's giving the like hint that your yaml is invalid okay so according to that you have to check and you can just copy your pipeline code and you can open yaml validator and you can open this yaml link and you can paste your pipeline script and you can test it out okay so as you can see your pipeline is valid now as it uh, remove the extra space from like whenever uh, from where we have given the extra space it remove okay so according to that we can take help from uh, this yaml validator and we can resolve the issue okay so let's go back to the document again so if gitlab detect a non zero exit code the job execution will stop so as we have seen in the previous steps okay so when it's finding like here so when it's coming to this command it's getting our pipeline is getting a stop as we have written in the key point okay if gitlab detects a non zero code the job execution stops okay so our exit code is 127 that is non zero and when it's come to this stage okay and when it's come to to run this command it's getting stopped because of it's throwing 127 exit code that is non zero okay and the last one is highly important so reading the logs job logs from the top to bottom is the key to understand why a job has failed okay so this is what we are already seen okay so win bash evl line 161 gf gfs ffs uh, gv not found that is not a valid command so we can read the log and we can understand like why our Uh, pipeline is getting failed and what exit code it's throwing okay according to that we can troubleshoot our pipeline and uh, we can resolve the issue so that's it for this video i hope you found this video informative and helpful if you have any query regarding to this video please do let me know in the comment section and if you are new to my channel then do check out my other playlist as well and don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you in the next video